As with all land plants, the life cycle of an angiosperm alternates between a diploid sporophyte generation, represented here by the flower of the mature sporophyte plant, and a haploid gametophyte generation. Within the flower's male parts, called the anthers, are millions of diploid spores called microsporocytes. These microsporocytes divide by meiosis to produce haploid microspores. Meanwhile, a similar process occurs within the flower's female parts, which consist of one or more carpels. In this example, the single carpel consists of a stigma, style, ovary, and ovule. A single diploid megasporocyte exists in the ovule and divides by meiosis to produce four haploid megaspores, only one of which survives. By producing two different types of spores, the microspores and megaspores, angiosperms and all other seed plants are considered heterosporous. Each microspore undergoes a mitotic division and differentiation to produce a pollen grain. A pollen grain is the haploid male gametophyte called a microgametophyte. The surviving megaspore divides by mitosis to produce seven haploid cells. One large, centrally located cell contains two nuclei called polar nuclei. Another cell is the egg. The seven-celled structure makes up the female gametophyte called the megagametophyte. The pollen grain pollinates the female parts of the flower by landing on the stigma. Here, the pollen grain germinates and a pollen tube grows down the style until it meets the female gametophyte. Two sperm from the pollen grain travel through the pollen tube and enter the female gametophyte. One fertilizes the egg, forming a diploid zygote. The other fertilizes two polar nuclei, forming a triploid cell. The fertilization of both the egg cell and the central cell is called double fertilization a hallmark of the life cycle of angiosperms. The zygote, which begins the next sporophyte generation, develops into the embryo, while the triploid cell develops into the nutritive endosperm of the seed. The seed germinates, and when the sporophyte matures, the life cycle begins again.